Hey what's up guys this is creative creator here so I am back with a brand new video of Adreno projects in this video I will show you how you can make a bluetooth controlled car with Adreno so which is also controlled by your android app so with that being said leave a like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and let's jump into the video so firstly for this project you just need some things for the project so yeah i am just using 4 volt dc motors which are in four quantity so it is available in everywhere you can go to any shop and buy them and there are four small gears for powering up the uh, wheels and the motor driver which i am using is l298n motor driver which is a h bridge motor driver you all know and also the main thing the brain the adreno uno r3 which is also the main key frame of this of this project so i am also using ac05 uh, wireless module bluetooth module and the gearbox with wheels and you can buy from a stores as well so let me just connect the gears to the motor and then you can see you i have to connect all the motors as well after connecting all the motors i am just pushing all the motors into the gearbox here is the gearbox you can see and each of gearbox contains two motor space so i am just connecting two motors for the two gear space and for the other one i am doing the same i am just using the some ice cream sticks for the base of the car so i'm taking some ice cream sticks and then cut into some pieces which i have needed i have cut it also the three pieces and and added the hot glue and also attached a small ice cream stick and, and here is it and it is I have to connect with two motors so connect it how i am showing in the screen and after connecting it you can see here you there will be it will be look like this one and after joining it you have to attach with with hot glue because it is have to it have to take too much weight so you have to attach it carefully so after that i am doing for the other part as well so i am just giving with the hot glue for it and also and connecting it as well so after connecting it i have also add the hot glue for for more requirement after that you can see i have also attached some ice cream sticks for there here and there for the ice cream for more stability and i have made a custom ice cream stick stand for the adreno uno r3 and the motor driver h motor driver so i'm just firstly i'm just connecting the free space with that ice cream sticks after that i will connect the my homemade ice cream stick uh, bases like you can see in that i have uh, made this one which is the base and where i will put the ueno r3 so it is the main thing you can do you can also buy from online also and everything i will talk about is linked below in the description box below so you can also check it out so after that i am just connecting all the things uh, uh, from in the position uh, after connecting it uh, all the positions you can see it is look like that type and i have also some attached some screws for the uh, for the base of the you know r3 after that for the for the uh, motor driver i am just also doing the same and i am just uh, attaching some hot glue on that and also making the base uh, much stronger for it will also hold the batteries but the battery version is in the next part so in this video in in this part i will show you only the connections but not the codes codes will be in the next part because the the video will be too long the the, the base is quite strong i'm taking a pen and just making the making some smaller pieces because of it will not make the uh, current from the flowing from that so i'm just making it uh, electricity proof so after that i'm just connecting it 
uh, on the it and just attaching some uh, pin pin refills by cutting pin refills after connecting two things like that you can see the things and it is the pin refills which i am just putting in on the on the on it because of uh, it will give some stability of it so after that i am ju just adding the nuts for the uh, for the more stability after connecting all the nuts uh, it will look like that and you can also use two nuts also because uh, in that one you can also uh, it will take it will do as well after connecting all the nuts you can see the uh, all all are connected separately after connecting it all nuts are connected separately in opposite you can see those uh, motors uh, rotation is in opposite so we just have to connect in the motors in series and it will be in in uh, it will be in same direction L let me just connect some wires for it and also making the thing uh, more stabilized after that after connecting it it will look like that type and i have also uh, do it for the next side also there you can see the it is rotating in same side so it is working well after that i have to do for the same thing for this side also i'm just making it as well and i'm also fast forwarding it because it will take so much time so after doing it you can see uh, it is look like that type let's see the wheel rotation so my i am just connecting the uh, to, uh, six volt battery to the out in, in the bed in the motor out motor input so you can see the motor is rotating in same direction so it is okay after that you can see you have to say the other wheels so i'm just connecting other wheels to the uh, to this uh, to the bed so i think it will work high. it is also works well so it is the main thing so th this is also connection now we have to go to the connection settings so we have to do, uh, connect the motors as well before the our connection so i'm just just doing opening the motor one and motor two motor two light in and just connecting it randomly if it uh, work like not jam we have to just change the polarity so it will work uh, as well so let me just connect it as on the motor one motor two positions and just we have to it is a it is look like that type you can see the motor a and motor b is connected and there are four pins in one into we just don't have to use enable a enable b which uh, they, they were the what they are in uh, it will be in same place okay so uh, we am just not using that we are just using line one line two line three line four and i am just uh, connecting it uh, the PWM signals which are in the uh, in the Adreno board you can see uh, it is nearly 5 6 or 11 or 13 and you can see and after connecting it you can see it will look like uh, that type uh, 6 7 and 11 uh, 11 and 13 or how whatever so it is a bluetooth driver ac05 you can use also ac06 and ac04 as well now uh, you don't have to use the first and the last one and the, you have to use the middle four pins which are which contains rx tx G, uh, gnd and the plus 5 volt i recommend you to don't use the plus 5 volt input because it is capable to capture 3.3 uh, volts as well so i'm just giving 3.3 volt from the adreno ueno you can also do it as well so i'm just doing uh, doing the 3.3 uh, volt for the input so you can it, it is also great for the thing just we have to just connect we have to just connect the blue driver to the adreno ueno it is very simple uh, let me know you something that if there is a rx from the bluetooth we have to connect this to the tx to from the adreno so you can see the rx is the black wire so i am just connecting the black wire to the tx of the adreno and also do the same for the tx so yeah so tx uh, tx of the um, uh, bluetooth driver will be connected to the adreno even r 3 so tx tx will be rx and rx will be tx it is very as simple as easy so just we have to just connect the 5 volt input i, I am previously i said that i uh, will connect it to the 3 volt and you can it will it will give it more uh, more time for the long limit time so i'm just connecting it ground to ground and a 3.3 volt input and you can also give 5 volt input 
if you have 5 volt input then use the 1k register for with the CD, within series for, with, with your supply so in my case there is a Arduino 3 volt so I'm just using it so that's it for this video guys in in next video I will show you the codes So guys that's pretty much enough for this video, I hope you have a great day, thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video, peace.